All right, welcome back to another video, everyone. So I have got a really cool old farmhouse. It's actually a time capsule, but it's a messy time capsule. So there's a lot of stuff left here, like basically everything. The owners died, I think, because there are signs of elderly people living here. So that's what I suspect. The owners died and this house has just sat ever since. So let's just get right into it and check out this static space. Chairs are great. There's a safe in the basement. Good luck. I put $25,000 in it. Is this a gun safe here? Wow. Apple juice and other unidentifiable things at the bottom there that are all rusted and have botulism and stuff. Oh, wow. Look at all these clothes in the closet. Troll. Garden gnome. Got the plants. So there's the two TVs, the big heavy one on the bottom. All right, let's get this one started. So I'm up here in one of the bedrooms upstairs. And I've actually filmed this house before, but I was in the area and I knew that I didn't do a good job of it so I wanted to come back and film a better video. Now this is a time capsule, a really messy time capsule. Everything was left behind here. It's all really old stuff and you can tell that the owners were elderly. So what most likely happened here is the owners died and the house has sat ever since for whatever reason. What has religion done for mankind? But yeah, there's all sorts of paperwork left, clothing left. These abandoned farmhouses are are just incredible, especially when everything is left over. So here's one of the signs that it was elderly people. We've got a, a commode here. You know, you'd put that over, you'd have a pot under it and they wouldn't have to leave too far from bed to go to the bathroom. Pretty sad situation to be in, but that's the way it goes. Some sort of a notebook here. Wow, yeah, so much stuff here. So many old books and just really cool, old, interesting things. And yeah, this place is so tossed and turned. Oh, this is cool. That's ancient. Oh, wow. Well, I'm gonna have to blur that out. Oh, 
Yeah, it's amazing that, you know, stuff like this is left over. Just incredible. And I'm seeing all sorts of things that I didn't notice on the previous visit. So that's, that's also a, a big bonus. Wow. These chairs are great. Okay, let's move on. Ooh. Yeah, there's stuff everywhere. It's impossible to walk in here without stepping on stuff. And this must have been a bedroom as well, even though it's kind of, you know, it's the hallway, right? Because there's the stairs going down. So you don't have much privacy. But there's the old bed, just covered in clothes and, I don't know, whatever else. So they really, uh, they were really religious by the looks of things. Cause there's a lot of religious books and whatnot. Wow, even a, some sort of a Revenue Canada slip. And they were obviously into hunting or at the very least trapping, anyway. Definitely outdoorsy. Oh wow. Look at these clothes hanging in the closet. really shame it's a real shame that this one got so trashed because it's an amazing location it's just so disrespectful to the owners to do such a thing right anything back here oh all sorts of old dishes more paperwork oh wow Sorry guys, I'm bouncing over the stairs here on the edges of the, the floor. Got a bunny in a tuxedo. All sorts of interesting things to see here. Just kind of hidden away. guys a look an overview of this room old printer and an old fax machine wow Oh, look at that chair. That's great. And there's a, a monitor back there behind it as well. It looks as though the, uh, the ceiling drywall's fallen. Wow, there's so many little things like hidden here and there. Well, this is interesting. There's a safe in the basement. Good luck. I put $25,000 in it. <laughs> I'm sure you did. <clears throat> huh. I don't believe that for a second. Suitcase. What do we got here? Ooh, some cassette tapes. 
Oh, we got a bowling. Oh, we got a whole bunch of bowling trophies back there. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Jeez, this place is hard to, uh, really difficult to maneuver through. Yeah. And some bedding and stuff. Pretty amazing. Uh, 88? Yeah, 88 bowling trophy. And this one is 87. Oh boy. This wallpaper too. Flower print. Gross. But yeah, another really nice old bed there. Love those old bed frames. All right, let's head downstairs. See what there is. I'm kind of curious about the basement now. I don't remember going into a basement here, so. It'll be interesting to see if I can get down there. I'm kind of curious if there's actually a safe down there as well. These stairs are very narrow and well worn. And this bottom step is, is broken. Cowboy boot here. It's always interesting. Huh. Wow. Well, look at this wallpaper. Got all sorts of fruits on it. It's fruity paper. Oh, we got a, was this a gun safe here? Wow. Yep. Someone broke in the, into this thing. They wanted to see if there's any guns in there, I guess. That's pretty crazy. And kind of scary too, right? Because now it could be someone running around with, uh, with guns. leather. Oh, look at that. The hat hanging on the coat hook. Just wonderful. Kitchen table still sitting there. Almost ready to use. It's another cowboy boot. Oh yeah, this floor is definitely rough. You can see a big hole there underneath the chair. Don't want to step there. Boy, oh boy. Oh, more Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh, look at all these rotten cans of food. Wow, we've got some apple juice and other unidentifiable things at the bottom there that are all rusted and have botulism and stuff, jello. I was actually just watching a, a YouTube video on jello, the history of it. 
and uh, so it used to be really really popular up until recently you know within the last five or ten years <laughs> and part of that's due to the uh, you know the the healthier movement in in food these days and jello's viewed as something that's not all that healthy right it's full of sugar and and that sort of stuff so it's sales have declined fairly significantly more rotten cans and yeah the, the company isn't doing so well but I think Jell-O will you know the Jell-O brand will persevere and they will continue to exist in the future they just need to reinvent themselves place is pretty gross oh there's no fr oh the fridge would be there but it's already gone okay moving on. oh there's the basement oh yeah that's why I didn't go down into the basement I guess and yeah I don't know if I would to be honest Let's see how oh doable I think I don't know I don't think it's worth the risk got a table down there I don't know what that is oh got some other stuff there but yeah this is that's just look at that step missing these steps are moving that's not worth it at all. Not worth the risk. And I don't think there's another entrance to it, so. And here we have the front door. Or at the very least, the main door. I like these windows. Okay, moving on here. Oh, wow. Look at all these clothes in the closet. Amazing. Watch out for the glass into the bathroom this bathroom's pretty cool all sorts of stuff left look at that toilet paper roll holder I'm not going to open it but we got a TD Canada trust book there oh wow it's on this side oh some sort of like face makeup I guess lots of it actually and look at this little troll garden gnome oh wow yeah this this bathroom is pretty weathered pretty worn unbelievable and we've got the little display cabinet here. Everything that used to be in here has now been removed, taken, or maybe just moved, tossed about into another place of the house. Armoire is all trashed. pair of glasses there wow look at this vacuum all right before we move in here let's give you guys an overview of the room it's a great looking room TV's still here 
couch is still here, all set up still. Got the plants. Well, it must be lived in because there's plants inside, right? Look at that. The, the window fell right out of the frame. Unbelievable. This place has been sitting for a number of years. Oh, I got some sort of a commemorative plate there for decoration only, unsafe food, unsafe food, not to be used with food products, unsafe food, huh? Okay then, I think they forgot a word, unsafe for food. So there's the two TVs, the big heavy one on the bottom. It's ever so common to see. Oh wow, there's a pair of shoes left over still. Amazing. Nice comfy chair there. Extremely dirty though. Yeah, this plant is pretty cool. Oh, this looks like it was a succulent of some sort or a cactus. But even those die given enough time, right? Wow, so much, so many cool things here. Oh, I got a little footrest. guys and that's uh, a look at the massive couch that thing is huge two people could sleep on that so like I had mentioned earlier in the video this was a return visit and there were actually some things that had gone missing between those two visits they're probably about eight or nine months apart and some of the upstairs furniture here you can see uh, some of the original footage had gone missing so this dresser had disappeared which is a shame because it looks like it was a really nice piece and also this dresser as well there were about five pieces total that went missing from this location between my two visits and yeah I was honestly I was a little bit angry about that and you know like the thing about these places is they're abandoned but that doesn't mean they don't have an owner and that doesn't mean that someone's not going to come back for this stuff uh, even if the original family didn't didn't leave you know didn't plan on coming back for this stuff if they ever sell the property you know maybe the new owner would come back even this trunk which I don't know it's it's kind of nice but it's it kind of looks like a homemade trunk maybe I don't know hard to tell but you know that was just surprising to see that go right and this dresser as well so yeah I think there were about five pieces total that I noticed that went missing um, I'm not sure if there there's more missing than that but either way it's uh, yeah it's it's pretty disappointing to see Oh, that's right. And of course, this this piece went missing as well. So that's six pieces, I guess.
All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Really cool house. It's a shame it's so trashed, but I mean, these things happen all the time for whatever reason, just di really disrespectful people. Anyway, despite that, it was still an amazing location. So much stuff to see when you dig around. And I'm just, I'm amazed every time I explore a place like this. So again, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, comment if you have anything to say at all. I always respond to all the comments, so be sure to leave one down below. And if you haven't already done so and you wanna see more of my videos and more of my explorers, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you at the next Static Space. All right, welcome back to another video, guys. All right, welcome back to another video, everyone. Anyway, it was still really, look, so everything's left behind. I respond to all the comments. So, you know, do it now while, I, while you can. And uh, while I'm, I respond to all the comments. I try to respond to all the comments. So, you know, it really doesn't hurt to do it. And if you heart.